Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel, to all you crew members out there. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast. Here we do a bunch of unboxings on Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Jada, and a bunch of other stuff. So I have a really cool one here for you guys today. This is a 12 piece car set put out by Mattel and they are Matchbox cars. And I don't know if you guys know any of this case code cause I don't, but all I gotta say is this thing came all the way from Japan. So we have full case i did open it um beforehand just to make sure everything was okay but here we are we have the japan version of the moving parts series oh there it is the full case so um we have moving parts here in the states and this was the first year that they went ahead and did a Japanese version. So some of them are offered here in the States as the American versions, but there are some of them here that are only offered in the Japanese series, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I decided to get the Japanese versions um, just because the box looked pretty cool and um, just something new here for you guys. So here is the packaging. And there are two series of this out that I know of. And this is series one. And here are the vehicles you guys can get. So I do know that the Civic was offered, or not the Civic, the S2000 was offered in the American version. I believe so was the Honda T360. Um, I do know the Mazda was. I'm not sure about the GTR, not sure about the 280, and not sure about the Land Cruiser. So here we go. So let's go ahead and see what we get. And then we'll go ahead and open some of these to see what they look like. But it is very cool, especially if you're interested in collecting a Japanese series box. This would be perfect for your collection. So we have number five, which is the... Toyota FJ Cruiser, one of those. Number six, we have the 2002 Nissan GTR Nismo. Oh, that is cool seeing it in the Japanese box. So that's number six, five. Okay, we have another one of the Nismo. Then we have the 1962 Honda T360. Oh, very cool. Another number four. I think it's two of each, if I'm not mistaken. But there's number five. So we got six, five, four. Number two. We have the 280. Oh, is that considered a Datsun? Datsun 280ZX. So there you go, if you guys are Datsun fans. And I probably will have a set up for sale. So definitely go check out our sales page, creamcitydiecast.com. Um, they will have that on there. I think I'll probably sell them individually. All right, number three is the um, Mazda MX-30. So yeah, it's two of each. So number two, this was the other Datsun. And then at number one, we have the Honda S2000. Is so cool. The art on this is awesome. All right, and next to me, I actually do have one of them. 
So I actually do have the Honda that I opened on a live a long time ago, but I do have the Honda to compare. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna open up one Honda. I'm gonna open up the Nissan and I'm gonna open up the, um, the Honda T3 um, 60. So that leaves a Honda. So that leaves at least one set for sure. I am gonna put up for sale. And then I think these other three I'm going to keep sealed and I'll sell those individually. I might open up the, the um, 240, but let's go ahead and get these cracked open and we'll see if there's any difference. All right. So before we get them open, I did take a little quick break to look them up to see. So basically, to my knowledge, um, they made the... Um, Mazda is an American version. They made the Honda is an American version and they made the Honda T360 is an American version. I do not see this one as an American version. They do make the Datsun 280, but I did not see it in this black and white color. And they do make the Land Cruiser as well, but I did not see it in this orange color. So I think these three are exclusive to the Japanese versions. So we're going to go ahead and get these opened up because I do want to see what they look like and if there's any differences. So here we go. Here is the Honda. And there it is. The moving parts. So these were never offered over in um, Japan. They were only released in the States, so then they went ahead and did a Japanese version. So that is pretty cool. And like I said, I did unbox this one before, so we can kind of compare it a little bit to see if there's any differences. So the American version is on this side and the Japanese version is on this side. And honestly, I do not see any um, differences on there. Um, you could say that the white might be a little bit different, but that's just because um, the casting years, um, you know, the paint, the paint varies every year throughout. But there we go. There is the Honda S2000. So that is pretty cool. So I'll probably end up um, selling them individually, my extra ones. And then, of course, everything that we do sell on the channel or on our sales page, Cream City Diecast, does go back into getting more diecast cars for you guys. But these are pretty cool. Like I said, these were offered um, in the American version. Um, but it would be cool if you guys, especially if you're a certain collector fan of a certain model, it would be cool to have the, um, the boxes as well. So here is the Honda. And these actually do not have um, premium wheels. They are just the plastic wheels. So there's the moving parts and then there's, there's another series, the collector something, I don't know, that actually do come with rubber, rubber wheels. But oh, that one is cool. I love this Honda. Love the little mini truck. All right, and then the last one we're gonna open here is going to be the um, GTR. Oh, this one is cool. Like I said, I know they did have these in certain colors, but I don't know if we ever saw the red one. And then there is a Series 2 coming out. Um, I don't think I bought the case on that. I just bought the versions that I needed. Did they change? 
change though. This one has a Japanese license plate on it, which is pretty cool. So very cool guys. So there we go. There is a quick unboxing of the um, Japanese versions of the Matchbox moving parts. Like I said, we're not gonna open them all, but I do collect these three models for sure. So I wanted to get those open. But if you guys are interested in these, go ahead and check out creamcitydiecast.com. They will be for sale up there on the channel. But there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini unboxing of the Matchbox moving parts from Japan. So there we go. Again, if you guys haven't joined the crew, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, become a crew member. We're looking for 5,000 crew members is our next goal and then growing from there. But there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you on the next unboxing. Bye.